Atlas stares at me with soulful green eyes, not saying anything for a long moment. It's unfortunate that he's a jerk, because he's hot as Hades. The man towers over me like a freaking mountain casting a shadow. It's not hard to see why they put him in the goal when he's as big as he is. I know from listening to Jordan that he's talented, too. The only reason he isn't in the NHL is because he got into trouble last time he was called up. Apparently, he's kind of a crazy person. Based on what I've seen of him, it tracks. I'm not sure why I'm so disappointed that he slept with Holly Gennara, my best friend. I don't even know him. But I'm not just mad that he broke her heart. I'm disappointed with him, as if he personally harmed me. It makes no sense. But I haven't been able to get him off my mind since I saw him at the arena yesterday. I haven't been able to stop thinking about the fact that he slept with Holly, either. It's driving me crazy. Do you have Holly's number, Gabby? He asks, leaning close to ensure I hear him over the roar of the bar. The place is packed. Then again, Bender's Bar usually is when they're putting on a show. Since the band retired, it's the only place they play anymore. I was supposed to meet Roman and Jordan, my brothers, here to negotiate Christmas plans, but they both bailed on me. I think they're trying to avoid discussing the holiday yet again. They do it every year. I don't know why they're such grinches. Why? I'd like to speak to her. I'm not giving out her number, Atlas. Fine. Then will you step outside with me and call her so I can speak with her? I eye him warily, not sure what he's up to, but not entirely sure I trust him either. Why do you want to talk to her? To clarify a few things. Like what? Like why she told you that I slept with and dumped her when we've never even dated. 